now is coming for it. James O'Connor. Fleet footed wing forward. Lovely equalising point from James O'Connor. He came across that line there very smartly. The intent was obvious. George Friend being called into the action here. Against Jim McInerney. O'Connor tried to lift that one up. Likewise, Gerald Auckland. Eventually taken up by the point scorer just a second ago. James e. O'Connor looking for a second and he's got another one. Some very good play here by James e. O'Connor. Again, a good call here from Anthony Daly. Three men to challenge him. And the support there from John Chaplin. Good ball inside to Gerald Auckland. Is there a goal chance on here? Oh, Lachlan outside to Tommy Gilfoyle! Tommy Gilfoyle gets the game's first goal. 11 minutes into the second half, and Clare going front by a point. So now Clare leading by a point, and suddenly the questions have been asked on the tip side, badly hit by injuries. But the side with the tradition are back on level terms again, the Munster champions with Aidan Ryan getting his first point of the day. They've been level now for the fourth time. And they're in there like bees to a honeypot, the Clare forwards, but still it's Sheehy. Keeping his side very firmly on course here. Hooped to McInerney and Gerald Lachlan now. Oh, Lachlan against George Friend. Suddenly the corner forwards have got into this match in a telling way. And that's a point. A great score there by Gerald Lachlan. From out around the side there, O'Loughlin gets point number one for the day, and Clare lead by a point again. Tommy Duck, outside. Michael Cleary, bearing down on goal, looking for a point, and he's not going to miss with chances like that one there. Amazingly, that's eight points for the afternoon for the era old Nina man. It may be John 3-7 in the background, but it's Michael Cleary, eight, out of Tip's tally of 11. Well, it's turned out to be an enthralling championship second half, this, after a very much forgettable opening 35 minutes. Brian O'Mara battling in there with Stephen Sheedy. What a battle they've had in there. Sheedy needing the assistance of Jamesy. Jamesy O'Connor, he's put it over the bar. And Clare are back, leading by a point. Gathered superbly by Brian O'Mara. If ever Tip needed a young player to really play out of his skin for the next 10 minutes or so, it's this player. But he's up against uh, PJ O'Connell here and Stephen Sheedy. Not to mention Jamesy O'Connor. And mention of Jamesy, he's another scorer there. Jamesy O'Connor with seven points. What a magnificent contribution. Pat King now for Tipperary, looking to draw level. The ball played inside towards Mike Nolan. Nolan taking it into his stride, causing some consternation and problem. And it's Fox! It's gone over, but it might have gone under. Well, he might curse his luck. David Fitzgerald, I'm sure, was expecting this one. This man here to belt it past him. A game that was devoid of style in the first half has buckets of incident in the second. That's a goal! A goal for Clare! Clare back in front of Tommy Gilfoy, I think, has got a second. Big Tommy! The score of two goals and clearly by three.